talk about a little about what we are doing in my company, Brisa. And I think you, most of you know Brisa because you, I think you usually use highways. Uh, and, but maybe you don't know that the, our highways are full of technology. Uh, we, we have been developing and using uh, lots of technology, not only to, to paint tolls, but also to, to give some comfort for your travels. So, uh, Brisa began uh, creating uh, an R&D department eight years ago. Uh, we were fully dependent on technology from uh, some of our suppliers, and then we began creating a network where we have some companies, uh, where, where we have some uh, universities, and some uh, technological centers. So we have already in this moment about 60 people, made in, in, uh, researchers in some laboratories, uh, and we are uh, developing technology. And nowadays we have already uh, technology from Brisa and Portuguese states in Denver, where we have a, a highway that is managed by us, and uh, in Netherlands, and we are in, uh, in this moment in Turkey and uh, India. So, the challenge made today was uh, to talk about. Uh, okay. Highways and autopilots, is this the future? So I think we, we can give uh, some, uh, we can think about it because nowadays we are working in the, and we are trying to work in the future of technologies. So, so the answer for me is yes. And why it is yes? Because people need more and more safety when they're traveling, need some comfort, and it's, it's important. For, for, for the travel, efficiency because we need to, to have to have spend uh, less time and be efficient because it's important. Traffic management it's important to manage traffic because you know we have some, sometimes some queues and other things like that that are not very interesting. So we must manage uh, the traffic and uh, the time management because time is very important for us every day. How? are we going to do it? We must uh, understand the, the human behavior. We must understand the interface between man and the machine. And we must know some technology, or what technologies are di disposable to use, or what are the technologies that we must develop. And how we must sensorize the cars, we must sensorize the infrastructures. So, what's Brisa contribution for this? We are at the side of con uh, the, the, the infrastructure. So, what we can contribute for this is bringing uh, services know-how. We have more than 30 years of uh, experience here. Driver behavior, we know relatively well the behavior of our drivers. Traffic management, we do it every day. And safety. In the side of technology, we have already uh, expertise, technology, and not only in Breeze, but in our network. Innovation, we think we know something about it. Management and innovation network, because we have, as I, I told you, a huge uh, network uh, in innovation. And in the end, VII, that's what I'm going to tell you a, a little. VII is Vehicle Infrastructure Integration, and is uh, the new kind of technology that is being developed for safety and for improving safety in our highways. And it gives, uh, it gives also the chance to, to pay tolls with this kind of technology. So it's important for us. Um, so I'm, I'm going to give you uh, an example of uh, the, the challenge that we made to our uh, team, uh, our development team. So the example was this. Imagine that we have uh, the red vehicle has sudden speed reduction, hard braking. All the vehicles behind will be worn through the system. So what we are developing here is a technology that is able to make all the cars be, being uh, alive and, and can communicate between them and between the cars and the, the, the infrastructure. That's what we are developing. So the example is this. 
the car stops, and then everybody is uh, a warned, warned that there, there was a, a, an accident. So we, we began developing this project. Uh, in the United States, uh, the, the, the frequency that is being used for this area of safety is the 5.9 gigahertz. And, uh, 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 and it is being used for safety, but also for paying tolls. Because in the United States, uh, oh, there are already many highways where you have uh, electric, electronic tolling, but it's always a proprietary solutions so that you, you, you understand the costs of the, 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 the technology. So there is a group, and Breeze belongs to that group, called Omnier, that is sponsored by the US DOT, the United States Department of Transportation, and we are working in uh, uh, interoperability among uh, electronic tolling systems uh, through the, the, the country. And so the, this group, Omnier, where we belong, and last year, we, 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 we were uh, hosting a conference, uh, the, the World Conference uh, of uh, Highways in Denver, where we have our concession. And then uh, we made, in the, first, in the first time, we made, uh, after making some R&D here in Portugal, we developed a test site uh, in our highways, and we showed how uh, we had our uh, a tag, an onboard unit, as you know, Nowadays, you use an onboard unit in your, your windscreen, but our, wind, uh, our tag in this moment is that, what you can see that, a big box. So <laughs> it's, uh, it's, not, it's our prototype. So we make uh, the, some demonstrations. We showed it at, that we are already on that technology. And then we went to the United States uh, here with, with some of our companies and with two universities, Universidad de Aveiro and Izel, that are developing this technology with us. And a smart car no, of a different yet. kind that not does yet. everything from help avoid crashes to pay for gas was unveiled today in North Metro Denver. The company that runs the Northwest Parkway Toll Road demonstrated a prototype of its in-car warning system. The technology takes into account everything from when a driver slams on the brakes or turns on the windshield wipers. It can communicate with other vehicles so equipped and tells you exact locations of road hazards before you ever see them. And the heads-up display can be used for purposes more than just safety. The key concern, the key reason to buy it would be for safety, but it has limitless third-party applications. So you can use it for tolling, you can use it for paying for gas, car washes, um, anything you can do in your vehicle. The technology is still being tested, but it could be available to drivers in the next three to five years. Interesting, yeah. So uh, this is what we are doing there. <laughs> so. What I can tell you is that we are bringing our technology and some experience that we, you know already in Portugal, like tolling, like parking slots, like gas stations, we are bringing. This guy that was talking about is our engineer in the United States. And so we are bringing uh, technology from, from Portugal to the United States. So thank you very much. Thank you.